Reed Leibarger joins us. How are conditions this morning? Are you up? <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. It's foggy outside. If you got to make a morning commute today, low beam headlights drive us slow. We are looking at dense fog outside here in the capital city. This is outside of Redoak Campbell Stadium. Can't even see it. Normally we can't. So what that tells you, you're going to want the low beam headlights. Travel conditions for Leon County here. Not ideal. It's looking like this across a lot of the Big Bend in southern Georgia. 63 degrees, dew point of 63, calm winds. That tells you everything you need to know. The air is saturated, no wind to mix it up. So we are seeing a lot of zeros out there. Low visibility down along the coast. Highway 98, probably not the best drive this morning. One mile in Perry, zero in Live Oak and Tallahassee. So I-10, probably not ideal either. This isn't widespread. You got some some spots like Moultrie and Bluntstown coming in 10 out of 10, but certainly some problem areas if you hit the roads this morning. If you still got to leave the house and make that commute temperatures 60s, few spots live Oak and Cross City in the mid to upper 50s, a little cooler, but all in all relatively mild by March standards. And we're staying that way through most of the forecast nearing some record breaking heat later this week. I got those details in a few minutes, but as you do head out the door, temperatures once again warm this afternoon with mid 80s. I got the rest of your first alert forecast coming up in a few more minutes.